This is our 2022 roundup of the best camera apps for Android right now. Now this year, there's even more alternatives to that built-in camera app on your Android phone or tablet with some incredible new features and more advanced functionality. And after spending a ton of time trying and testing them out in this video, I'm gonna share my shortlist as well as my number one pick when it comes to the best Android camera apps right now. Now, as we're going through this video, make sure you're leaving me a comment down below. Let me know what is your go-to Android camera app and why? Okay, so there's lots of different options. Some of them are great and some of them not so great. You've got things like Open Camera, Filmic Pro, Manual Camera, HD Camera, Pro Shot, Pro Cam X, DSLR Camera, Pro Take, and Cinema FV5. And that's nowhere near all of them. And each of them does have their own advantages and disadvantages. But I've narrowed this shortlist down to three apps that are my top apps right now. But make sure that you're sticking around to hear out all of the options so that you can leave here knowing which is the best app for you. So app number one is Open Camera. Open Camera is one of the most popular camera apps on Android because it's open source. It is completely free. It also packs in so many features and so many options and so much control that you can have over your videos and the app itself. So much so that the actual menu system to help you go through and find all of these settings actually can be a little confusing or definitely a little overwhelming for people, especially if you're more at the beginner level. The overall camera interface though is fairly intuitive, but it is customizable. So if you wanna add extra functionality on it or remove features that you're not using, then you can do that in your settings. Now, one setting I do recommend you change if it is supported on your Android device is opening up the camera API setting and enable the camera to API. This is gonna allow you to have more control over things like your manual focusing and exposure and even white balance, again, if your camera supports it. Now, we do have a full walkthrough on open camera and I'll link that in the description below. But overall, again, it's a very feature packed app. Now there are some pretty cool features in here like being able to enable the ability to tap on your screen to start and stop recording or to take a photo or even to trigger it when there's a noise or a voice command. And there's also some pretty useful anti-banding or anti-flickering settings that you can turn on to help you remove any flickering from a computer screen or from lights in your scene, as well as different levels of noise reduction as well to help you clean up your video image. But overall, it's probably one of the most feature-packed apps that is intuitive enough to use, but definitely not as easy as some of the other options we've got coming up. But hey, it comes with the best price tag, which is free. The next app is Manual Camera. This is another one that we've mentioned quite a bit on this channel as well and it's another app that really packs a punch. In terms of features it probably doesn't have as many as open camera but it is far more intuitive and far easier to use. I much prefer the overall interface and how much easier it is to access a lot of the core features and functionality that you'll want to use in your day-to-day -day filming right from the main screen. Now, while the overall interface isn't as customizable as open camera, you can still customize things up and you can hide different elements to give you a more immersive experience. So you're able to focus on the shot that you're getting instead of having a ton of features and buttons and things around. And I guess that's something that's really personal preference. For me, I'd much rather have access to all the controls all the time so that I can quickly make those adjustments as I need to instead of turning them off. But it's cool that you've got the ability. Now, if you are someone who is after some of the more professional controls, then you can enable professional mode, which is gonna give you the ability, just like open camera and the next app that we're gonna mention to lock everything down manually. Your shutter speed, your ISO, your white balance, you will wanna enable pro mode to be able to do that. Now, the overall menu system and navigating through to find everything is much simpler than open camera. It's not menus upon menus. It's actually a really streamlined, really neat and tidy experience. And it makes it very fast to find the settings or the features that you're looking for. Now, one thing I really like about manual camera is how everything is just displayed so simply. Like at the top of the screen here, we can see how much storage is left, what my aperture is set to, what recording resolution I've got. And I can also see my exposure, my ISO and my shutter speed. And I love that you can see all of that in one place. You don't have to look at different areas around the screen. So just at a quick glance, you can see that everything is all the way that you'd want it. But one thing that I would love to see in here is the ability to tap on those things and to be able to adjust them from there. Like to me, that would make more sense if I just tapped on shutter, I could adjust the shutter at that point. Now, the only one there that that does work for if you do tap on it is your recording resolution. So it's strange that they've implemented it for that, but not the other options up there. Again, not a deal breaker, but maybe a nice to have. But overall, it's still probably the fastest and easiest to use app that still packs in a ton of more advanced features and controls. Now, in terms of pricing, there is a free light version of the app, which does have a five minute record time. There 
those ads and it also limits your recording resolution. So it could be a good idea to grab that and to have a play around, but really you wanna be looking at the pro paid version, which is only gonna cost you $4.99, which is gonna remove those limits and give you access to more features as well. So that brings us to app number three, which is Filmic Pro. Now this is another one that we've talked about a lot on this channel. I'm a massive fan of Filmic Pro and we have a tutorial and a walkthrough that I will link down in the description box below. And I'd say that Filmic Pro is really a great mix of open camera and manual camera. It's got a lot of the customizability and control that you have in open camera, but it's also got a lot more of the easier to use interface and the simplicity that you have in manual camera. So Filmic Pro is an app that you can get whether you're on iOS or Android, and it really helps you unlock and get the most out of your smartphone cameras. Again, just like manual camera, it's got a really clean, really easy to use, fairly intuitive interface. It's probably not as intuitive as manual camera, but it still makes it really quick and really easy to access all of the core functionality that you would want to right from the main screen. They make it really easy to quickly lock down your focus point and your exposure just by dragging the square and the circle on screen, or you can dial this in even further by bringing up the more advanced controls, where you can really dial everything in with great precision. You've also got fast access to things like focus peaking and zebra lines and other overlays to really help you dial in your shot. And you've got fast access to see your volume levels on the side with the audio bars, but also to adjust your volume levels up and down right from that area if you need to as well. In terms of the menu system, System and diving into some of these more advanced settings, it's still fairly intuitive and it's broken down into simple categories to help you find what you need fast. I really like that you can add different overlays onto your video so that you can see what your video is going to look like and frame it up correctly with different aspect ratios or these overlays applied. And you can also tell Filmic Pro to crop your video and to save it out with those aspect ratios or those overlays applied. Meaning if you wanna create a one by one video, you can actually do it here in Filmic Pro. There's also great hardware integration with gimbals like the DJI Osmo Mobile and Zhiyun Smooth 4, and also lens adapters and anamorphic lenses, which means that you can really use this as a professional grade tool. There are movies and documentaries that people have made and have been making for years with Filmic Pro, given how awesome and how powerful it is. Now there are some additional in-app purchases and additional apps as part of the Filmic family as well to help you take things to the next level. There's a cinematographer kit as an in-app purchase that will let you unlock different shooting styles. So that'll let you shoot in a neutral, dynamic, flat, or a log V2 picture profile, and also help you customize it up to how you'd like it. But there's also the Filmic Remote app, which will let you remotely monitor and control your primary Filmic Pro camera or device from another Android or iOS device. So this is something that'll work really well on a pro level shoot, or even if you're creating videos like I am here now, where I can't see what the camera is recording, I can use Filmic Remote to monitor and control everything while while I'm sitting in front of the camera. Now in terms of pricing, Filmic Pro isn't free, but it is ridiculously cheap. You can buy it for a one-time price of $14.99. The Cinematographer add-on is currently selling for $13.99 and the Filmic Remote app is currently $9.99. Now you can buy these in a bundle or package deal as well, which is also in the Play Store. So those are my top three video camera apps right now on Android open camera, manual camera, and Filmic Pro. Now if I had to pick just one winner from those three, the best all-rounder, I think I've already given this away, but it is once again going to go to Filmic Pro. I do think it is the best all-rounder. It's a great mix of pro-level features and advanced controls mixed in with an intuitive, easy to use interface as well. Making it great for anyone who is looking for that next level up from their phone camera app, someone who wants to dial things in, have that full control and maybe even add in some extra hardware integration as well to really level up and step up your video creation. So now that you've got your camera app sorted, if you wanna learn how to create professional looking videos using your Android device, then check out the video linked on screen where I take you through an easy step-by-step -step process on how you can get the most out of your phone camera, but also how you can create professional looking videos fast and easy. So check out the video linked on the screen and I'll see you in the next one.